everybody I'm coming to you with my Aldi's grocery haul and this might seem like a little weird placement but we did it in the order of the receipt and I'm gonna be sliding down my floor because I have zero counter space <laughs> to show you what we got I did shop for a month this month and I'm gonna show you my pr food prep video too so by the right. way I'm adding all the things in there oh Christopher is also editing this, so Lord help us all. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> all right. So I got three sub kits. They were $4.69 a piece. I got some grape jelly from Walmart, and that was... Aldi. Or Aldi. This is all Aldi. If I say Walmart, ignore me. This is all Aldi. Grape jelly was $1.69. Cherry pie filling, that was $1.69. Barbecue sauces were $0.99 cents a piece. I got two. Um, black olives, they were $1.39 a piece. I got two canned pasta because one of the dinners Christopher and Chloe hate, but everybody else really, really loves. So they're going to eat that instead. Um, and that, those were $0.65 cents a piece. The creamy peanut butter was $2.89. My stevia was $2.99. Um, four pancake mixes, I got them stacked, if you can't see. Four. And You're those in a really squished hallway. Yeah, I'm squished in the hallway right now. These are these were five ninety six a piece because she did. Or five, oh my god, not a piece. Five dollars and ninety six cents in total because she did all four. I guess did four then did the thing. I did buy all the grocery bags for a dollar fifty, but they I don't even know where they are right now. They're thrown in my kitchen. Okay, um, oatmeal. I'm gonna do prep the oatmeal for the month, and I got three of those. And they were two thirty nine a piece. I thought that was high. That's just my opinion. Okay, sliding on down. Okay, I got the romaine hearts, and they were two twenty nine a piece. Um, I got hamburger buns. They were eighty three cents. Still sliding down, guys. All right. <laughs> I got bananas. They were forty four cents a pound. Um, I got some taco seasoning. And the taco seasoning was 35 cents each. And then the brown gravy was 49 cents a piece. That's high for that too, I must've just grabbed. All right, scoop, Chris, go. Um, okay, now, moving out of the squished part of the hallway. Okay. Oh, I can breathe. All right, eight cream of mushroom soups. Um, and those are for obviously cooking because I don't eat that just by itself. And they were, um, 49 cents piece, um, sour cream that I missed in here was $1.19. The salt and pepper grinders, the salt was $1.69, the pepper was $1.79. These, you know, just the Aldi brand, the sea salt. I should have got the pink one. I didn't see it, but that'll do for now. Okay, moving on down. Okay, coconut oil. Um, I believe that was on sale the coconut oil was $3.99 um, the apple pie filling we got was $1.59 for that apple pie filling right there and then we got um, these grapes and they were $2.46 a pound which almost made me cringe I didn't realize they were that high but we got them um, then we got milk chocolate morsels which are not in this order on this list go get those go get the chocolate chips anyway what the where oh they were not in the right space spot so milk chocolate chocolate chip things they were um i'm totally losing my space on this oh they were a dollar 79 and then we got Buttermilk Thousand Island dressing because we're gonna make our homemade Big Macs, and that was a dollar twenty nine. Then we got brownie mix for the twins' birthday that was eighty five cents a piece. I got two two black beans and they were sixty nine cents a piece. And then scoot on down. I got some vegetable oil and some canola oil that's behind it. Um, they were, vegetable oil is $1.85, canola oil was $1.89. They had to get these on sale, 42 cents. So holiday stuff there. Um, I got butter here and 
where am I at? Butter quarters. I got three. They were two fifty-three cents a piece. I'm trying to get them off of the margarine stuff. It's not good for you at all. And I don't normally eat it. And I ate it the other day, and it tasted like plastic. And I just like ugh. So we didn't do that. Okay. Then we got brown sugar. I got two of them. They're to go in the oatmeal. Two of them, and they were a dollar forty-nine a piece. Pancake syrup was a dollar forty-nine a piece. Holiday sprinkles, which I don't know where they went. Can you? There they are down there. You want to grab them for me? These were actually on sale. This is for the twins' birthday too. Where was that? Holiday man. sprinkles. Oh yeah, it's these. They were seventy-four cents for all of these. So uh, why not? And they don't care that they're red and green and white for their. They're having brownie Sundays. Okay. Scoop down. Probably by the ketchup. Okay, it's back. Sorry about that. Um, Michael called and yeah, it cut off the video. So we are now at the some of the veggies anyway. I um blah, blah, blah. where am I at? Oh, okay. I got mini sweet peppers, I got green peppers, um, I got some zucchini. Oh, mini sweet peppers were I forgot I was saying prices, two seventy nine a piece. Green peppers were a dollar seventy nine, carry gold butter. That is down there. I don't know why. And that's $2.85. Um, which is a good price because at Walmart it's usually like $3.69 or something. Um, I got... Oh, Lord have mercy. I don't even know where I'm at. Um, well, y'all know what vegetables look like. So I got some zucchini in here. And that's $1.69. Some baby carrots, which are way down there for $1.29. Uh, gala apples they're coming up I seriously I think we got way out of order here somewhere um, gala apples they were a dollar sixty nine cucumbers were a dollar forty seven I got unsweetened almond milk and that is down here I need to slide some more Ugh. man my booty there's no reason I'm going on a diet right now almond milk and it's unsweetened this is what I'm gonna try to put in my coffee Lord save me here Unsweetened almond milk was $1.99. Um, I got frozen vegetables there for some dinners. They were 89 cents a piece. There are the carrots and the baby carrots I got there. Um, I got some Korean style sauce. Apparently this is a marinade. We thought it was a sauce, but we're gonna give that a try on something, don't know. Um, I got some jalapenos. They're over here. I got some asparagus and let me see. All right, let's go down a little bit further to the good stuff. This is a really ghetto grocery haul. I'm sorry guys, I thought it would work. It's not working, um, but I'm not doing this again. So we got some spicy brown mustard. Um, That was 89 cents. We got the regular deli mustard back there. That was 69 cents. I got the big ketchup there. And that was $1.49. Uh, my asparagus was $2.99. Let's see. The Korean style sauce was $1.99. Chloe's creamer. Well, she has to have this creamer. It's $1.89. It is the sweet Italian cream. She did that. I got the, the kids their creamer, the boys and stuff, because they go through it way too much. And these were $1.89 a piece. I got them a wrench vanilla and a hazelnut here. We got chocolate syrup for the kids' birthday. And that was um, zero idea. Oh, chocolate syrup was $1.49. I got the medium salsa. That was $1.49. Um, I got the Parmesan cheese, the Parmesan Romano cheese. That was... I have no idea where I'm at. <laughs> oh my gosh. The Parmesan Romano cheese. $2.29. I got the, the burrito mixes for our fajitas. Um, those were $2.29 a piece. Um... Pancake syrup was $1.49, and that was way back there. But I did get pancake syrup. You see my floor? See all those groceries? Oh, my word. 
Okay, moving on down. I'm almost at the end now, guys. Okay, so three packs of chicken thighs. I did get those, and those were, one was 262, one was 298, and one was 324. I got five packs of the bacon, and they were 349 a piece. I got these chicken fries because Kira re requested chicken something. They were $4.29 a piece. My coffee, and here comes the cat. My coffee was $5.69. I'm almost done, so I can kind of get there. All right, pork chops. These were on sale, and Amufus is a pork chop. Okay, pork chops. These were on sale. These were $6.13 a piece, but they were on sale for, um, um, where are we at for the pork chops? It doesn't say. They were... Two nineteen a pound, so that worked out good for us. Um, so I did that, and then I got the. Pork. Okay, now just about done. All these had a sale, and it was four ninety nine for a pound of, because it was usually five sixty nine at my all these. I got twenty five packages of this, hundred percent grass fed ground beef. Um, I got twenty five packages. Look at my bag. It's 25. Again, this is for a month, and my meals were planned. So I might have spent more than the $3.99 for just regular ground beef, but I was like, you know what? It's healthier for you. It's better for you to eat. It's better for the kids. You know, so I got that. And they worked out, yeah, $4.99 a piece. And then I got white bread here that was 83 cents a loaf. And then the kids got, you know, one of those fake looking Starbucks coffees for $1.19 a piece at the end. So there's two of those. And see, all these groceries going all the way down my hall. All of them. We spent a grand total of $3.82.49. So that's what we spent today. $3.82.49 at all these. I'm sorry if it was kind of awkward. I don't know if I'm going to do it like this again, but I tried. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching this one. Walmart's coming up next. All right? So, talk to you soon. All right, guys. This is my Walmart haul. I'm going to punch Christopher. All right. And this is the rest for Walmart. Now, I'm, didn't do, I'm not doing it as crazy as that Aldi haul because that was hard and I was sliding and forget it so we're just gonna do this all right so they got some cookies for the girls for the twins birthday not the girls I got two I got 12 two pounds of cheddar cheese again guys this is for the month and I've got eight people I got these this um sliced cheese we also got this um a whipped cream for the kids birthday we got some buttermilk ranch we got some Marie's Ranch, and we got some Lighthouse Chunky Blue Cheese. I got 10 four-packs of Bubble Bee Tuna. I'm making tuna casserole twice, and I'm also making um, chunky corn chowder. Chunky, not with tuna, I'm not making chunky corn chowder. Tuna mac. Wow, tuna mac, yes. All right, we're having chicken fajitas tonight, so we got this blend, and I mix this with regular. We also got this chicken to go into those chicken fajitas. So we got that. Um, low carb tortillas. This is for Michael. We got some tater tots for tater tot casserole. Um, we got potatoes. We got him some good bread. I don't eat bread really, so I mean I love bread. Okay, I don't want to eat bread. So this is for Michael. It's a little bit better for him. The kids got the white because they won't eat this stuff. Um, I got gummy worms again for the twins' birthday. Some chocolate frosted flakes because they had to have them. And some dino bites for some cereal. All right. Duke's mayonnaise because it is the best mayonnaise. Plus it has no sugar in it, which is great. All of their noodles, the you know, that kind of thing. They got a bunch of noodles. Some more potatoes, some more ranch, a thing of sausage, all the pasta for the month that we've got going on here, rice. Okay, these Twinkies, they just picked them up because it was $1.67 and they wanted to try them. They're absolutely disgusting. Don't waste your $1.67. 
Okay, a couple cans of tomato soup, broccoli cheese soup, the other tomato soup right there. We got some milk, two Diet Pepsis for me. Yes, I said I wasn't gonna drink soda, but if I'm at work and I'm on a caffeine withdrawal, then, you know, I need something. So I'm gonna wean myself down this week. And then I got my pickles in the background for everything, a soda for the kids, you know, just to have for dinner tonight for a treat, and then two gallons of water. Um, we also got two cases of water, too. Excuse my trash bag mess. Oh, we got five dozen eggs, too. So, this is our Walmart haul. God, that was a lot easier than the Aldi haul. It's not as much, but I spent $2,239 on this at Walmart. The major expense here was the cheese and the tuna. But yep, okay, this is our Walmart haul. Y'all have a wonderful day. Hey right, guys, so that's our Aldi and Walmart haul. We ended up spending about $645 total. Um, yeah, I'll have the exact number for you here by the end of the video and I'll put it in somewhere. But, um, well, I won't put it in somewhere. Christopher will put it in somewhere because he's going to edit this video. I'm not. You should so, my socks. Oh, my gosh. So, Chloe wants you to see her socks. Y'all like her I socks? Well, that's ideas. your foot, Kira. Chloe, can you see your socks? Now you can see my socks. I there you go. Like that. Okay. So, she wants you to see her socks. She's pr proud of her socks. She got them for Christmas. I think she looks like Where's Waldo with colors. Hey. But <laughs> she's sitting here picking up her socks. All right. But anyway, so thanks for watching. I'll have the total written in here somewhere. Eye in the sky, something like that. Um, Kira? Where? Yeah. They're still going to make noise. I can't help it. Even when I ask them to be quiet, they're still going to make noise and talk. But yes. Thanks for watching our grocery haul. Please like, subscribe, comment, all of that stuff. and all that stuff. Have a good one. Okay, y'all, I didn't do this last night because I was tired, but this is the inside of my freezer right now with what we prepped. I only prepped almost for a week, um, mainly because of freezer space. I wasn't sure what we were gonna have. So these are, believe it or not, we eat two of these per meal. So in here, I've got one tater tot casserole, but that's for one dinner, so that'll be two, and these four shepherd's pies, and these will be two dinners. And then up here, Tyler cannot stand. He has never, since he was a baby, could stand mashed potatoes, so we make him his own shepherd's pie. It's kind of odd. It's got meat, hot sauce, because he also hates gravy, meat, hot sauce, and you know the mixture inside the meat and um we put macaroni and cheese on top of it and he loves that so i made him his own and that's going to be for two meals there too so uh, we did that there's some more michael's bread um that i put in there and then one of the sub kits because we use the other two to prep sandwiches and these are tater tots for another tater tot casserole some chicken and pork chops chicken fries for dinner because Kira had to have those. Notice I still didn't finish prepping. My freezer door is full of meat, but this was the best deal that I have found on organic grass-fed beef yet. So, okay, now let's go into the fridge. Now, I haven't looked in my fridge since last night, so don't hate because <laughs> God knows what the kids did. Okay, so let's start with the door. We prepped three loaves of lunch meat sandwiches with cheese and we also prepped um, three loaves of peanut butter and jellies. So what's in the door is what they can eat for the next two days. There's 12 lunch meat sandwiches, and then there's 12 peanut butter and jellies. So that's for all six kids. And then of course your normal condiments down below. Your butter and all that stuff. All right. Over here. Um, yeah, they kind of got in here a little bit, but I'm not going to go crazy. Um, this right here is dinners for tonight. It's chunky corn chowder already made. It just has to go into the freezer. Um, these are like leftover snacks for me. I've got some eggs and I've got some cheese, some cheese slices thrown in there. Um, we got eggs here. I've got more cheese and veggies in here. And these are those containers. 
Like this one is a dinner. I don't know if you can see in it. It's got chicken, asparagus, and a salad in there. And then this has got a stuck thing on top of it. Oh, it's not stuck. This is my lunch. It's got tuna, a hard boiled egg, some olives, and some salad on it. And then if Michael's is too below. Y'all asked me what I was doing for, with these. So anyway, if you look back, I've got my whole fridge kind of full of these, but this is lunch and dinner for a week. And then this is Michael's. He's got tuna and he's got low carb bread and kind of the same thing I do. Um, he's got more cheese. I don't have cheese. I'm limiting myself to two ounces of cheese a day, trying to limit hit him to that, but that's going to be impossible. And yeah, so this is our, oh, and these are just our vegetables, and I can tell you right now, oh, that one's not too bad. And this is veggies. I need to really bag these up, but I will tell you what, we got really tired last night. We were done. So, yeah, so that's where we're standing right now. And, oh, and these bags right here have more of the sandwiches in them. So there's more lunch meat sandwiches and more, um, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches behind it. I am gonna put them in the freezer, but as you see, I have no freezer room. I need my freezer back. Oh, but yeah, so that's all of our meal prep. All right, like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff at the bottom. My social media is at the bottom, and I hope you like this video. Bye.